Where have you been, bro? <laughs> I've not been anywhere. I've not left. I've been training pretty much myself. While well, the boys have been away doing kind of um, like sponsor staff, they've been busy training. But I've just been, yeah, training in the background as usual. Are you excited for today then? Yeah, yeah. And it'd be good, uh, good to train with Tom. Obviously, look. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Me and Luke have been training today. Tom's out uh, in New York, living his best life out there with Sinead. Yeah, it'll be a nice kind of quick session today. What's happening boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen of all ages, guess who's back? The main man. Well te technically I never really went anywhere. Oh, true. But he's back on the Stolten Brothers channel. We've got a shoulder session. Big Tom is away to New York. Living his best life in New York. And we're, we're here. Ho we're holding it down here. It's okay Tom. <laughs> we hope you're having a good time. So today I'm going to be training with Harry probably for the rest of the week as well, which is awesome. Really excited. Mm -hmm. um, we've actually been speaking about switching training so we, we all tie in together up, I, yeah. yeah so we're going to be training push press today so it's basically shoulders yeah so push gonna, press main main lift uh -huh. and then just follow it up with some kind of accessory stuff so this is actually going to be my first press session um since i've had some prp in my shoulders so hopefully it feels a lot better i've been doing a lot of recovery work a lot of physio with ross it feels a lot better so i'm hoping today we can do something nothing too heavy i'll probably no. go up to Around 300 kilos, nothing big. What about you? Probably 110. Oh! Baby weights. Yeah. 110, baby! <laughs> right, let's go train shoulders. Let's go. After you, Simon. Okay. A little uh, surprise for everyone. First release got them today. 1.2 litres of pure Stoltman spiciness. What's the material? Bottle material. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Do you ever get really annoyed with people drinking overly big shakes? Oh, yeah. Well, we thought we'd change the game. Welcome to the Stoltman Shaker. 1.2 litres of pure liquid niceness. Get yours soon. Come in on the StoltonBrothers.com. Open the window, very good. It kind of smells like poop. <laughs> Don't want more seven years bad luck. Do a couple of the bar. Yeah, bar 10, 20, 10 on top of that, and then 100, I think. Oh. oh, geez. My back is very dummy from yesterday. Is there a reason that you step out of the rack? Uh, I step out so I don't hit the the rests, me being a little bit shorter and because when I dip, when I'm doing push press, I dip down and then I pop so that little lower lower uh, position, I've got a tendency you can hit them so here for me I always just take a step back and I'm here but there's too many times where I can hit, I can hit this, get too close to the, the upright of the, the rack as well so we might be redesigning the gym as well, matter of fact might be helping us with that so maybe we could extend the height of the upright on the rack which would be pretty cool so we could do push press inside it it's just more of a habit i just like to take a little step back <sighs> regain my my kind of stability with my core and then pop it up
It takes me a lot longer to warm up my shoulders. I can't do like big jumps, you know, like yeah. squats and deadlifts, it's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's use of mobility, Simon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's shoulder mobility. Like that one, pretty flexible. Is that I see no problem here. <laughs> so you can only scratch your back with your left one. <laughs> This is how it's meant to be. It's because I've got a little tear in the back. I forget what they said, the super... Super spinatus. Super spinatus. I don't know, don't one of those. Made that word up. <laughs> <laughs> and you have like big needles going into you. It's okay. It feels good though for pressing. In the forward position, it's fine. It's just like for yoke and stuff, I'm trying to get under it. Middle foot. There's no uneven plates here, is there? Do you train in the gym where there's uneven 20 kilo disc plates? If you do, come join the Stolpman Strength Centre. We have uniform plates. They are the best. Very nice, very good. Hello. <laughs> Harry's going up to 110 for singles. I'll probably go up a little bit more than that. So if we put on the, the five kilometer foot bumper plates, you can see they're the same diameter as the, the metal ones, the calibrated ones. So then when I go to put a 10 on, it's more just uniform. Maybe a bit of OCD or whatever kicking in, but I hate it when it's like... It so it's shaking, doesn't it? Aye, stop shaking and it's like, it just looks off as well. So for me, I just prefer to have them all the same diameter. A little bit more. It just looks cleaner and feels cleaner. I think that's all it is. Good. Nice. <coughs> is it just singles you're doing there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three singles, one ten. Finish my like volume stuff off my kind of block, so this is kind of going up to like one rep maxes and stuff like that now. What's your current one rep max? Uh, 120, yeah. And what are you hoping to get by the end of the prep? Get a nice, nice, another, another clean one of 120, maybe 125, see how it feels. Or maybe even 130, you know, we'll see. Yeah, got one of 110 last week. So last week I failed it, so I had to drop down to 105. Oh. This is your third set now on that one. Set, yeah. good, Progression. It's feeling good. How's your training uh, with the boys compared to your normal training when you're on your own? Like the yeah. intensity, like how is it? It's uh, I'd say it's like a bit faster because obviously you're just going after each person, you know. Warm up. I take a lot longer to warm up than Tom and Luke. Just, just with like, especially shoulders, you know. I like kind of doing a lot more mobility stuff. It just makes my shoulders feel a lot nicer. But when you're working with someone, you kind of speed that up, you know, because you're doing it so fast. Feeling good. That looks so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulders are feeling good. So the max I'll be working up today is 160 kilos. Come on. Yes. <coughs> the shoulder's still intact. Even with a broken back. Still got it. <laughs> So that's push press done. We've got my three sets at 
110, felt really good. Uh, shoulders are feeling nice and strong. Last week was a good good session, but I had to drop the weight down, so it was good to actually hit what I was meant to hit this week. Um, what did you hit last week? Uh, 105 for, I think it was three twos, three twos. Luke got, worked up to 160, felt good despite his like pump back and that. So all around it was good. Um, on to uh, incline dumbbell press now. The shoulder issue is just a little bit nervous kind of getting back into it. I can say that's the first time really doing anything big push pressing in a long time. So and when I say big I say it with inverted commas because you know for us like 160 should be up to like 200 plus but just something to push on forward on so just a nice test of the shoulder. Shoulder's feeling okay it's usually the day after so see how it feels tomorrow. Thankfully Ross is up for some physio so that'll be awesome. Um, yeah, as Harry says, we are now on to some dumbbell pressing. In terms of recovery, you have Ross, what else do you have? So we have Ross, see hot and cold. We'd see Neil Rooney, we haven't seen Neil in a little while. I talked about PRP injections, infrared lights. We do mobility with Sean, which helps increase our kind of range of movement. Putting my body in that kind of stretched positions where I need to get into to press whatever it is, I think that really helps. Muscle tears and stuff like that, you just have to kind of allow that time and that's kind of what I've done over the last little while so it's allowed that kind of time to heal um, I'll get another scan probably in a, in a couple of weeks just to see how that goes um, and maybe another set of PRP injections as well from the blood lab when we see them down in Arnold Classic so all in all on course to be injury free for 2023 Start when I get to 40. I haven't been above these because it goes 47, it goes up to 60, 47 and a half, then the next one we have 60 dumbbell, you know what I mean? Have you pressed 47 and a half before? Yeah, yeah. Just not 60? No, the, the jump up's a wee bit too big. <laughs> oh, wait, come on. How many was that? <laughs> I lost count. I can only can, can it count up to ten. <laughs> I think Luke should jump up the weight to what's the next? Sixty kilograms each hand. I don't know if you know, but we're going down to the Arnold Classic. We have a stall. We're looking at what competitions we could do. So I was just thinking we've got a a seventy-eight kilo, is it? Okay. Whatever that that is. So, so if someone can pick up with one hand, maybe we'll do a prize or give away £100 or something, I don't know. Comment below if you think we should do it, or we've got the Denny Stone handles as well, so let me know what you think below. Oh, that's good. 
just pump those, come on. Come on, pump it, good, come on. Come on. Come on, Har, you got it. Come on. Up, come on. Come on, let's get one more. Big drive, up, 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 up. You hear, buddy? Where's you going? Are you not going to do another rep? I guess we're going to the 60s. <laughs> Got to do the 60s now. Come on. Come on. Guys, curls, that is uh, pressing done. So, did some push press, did some incline dumbbell press. We're now going to finish off with some accessories. We'll start off with tricep push downs. Get those triceps nice and strong. Now, if you want to see more of what we do in our press workout, please go on to Stoltman Strength Academy, sign up, get trained by Tom, myself, our coach Dan. You'll not regret it. See you in the Stoltman Strength Academy. <laughs> Right guys, that is all you're going to see to us now. We are now in season two of Becoming a Strong Man, episode one. Great to be back in the gym with Harry. My injury is pretty good, feeling really good now actually with my shoulders, so hopefully can really push that. We'll be training all week, yeah. so we'll be capturing some more, maybe in our first, my first Strong Man session back. Yeah. You've still been hitting it hard, so. Yeah. Well, let's get that recorded on Friday. We'll be training Strong Man, so you'll see that episode next week. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for the support on our merchandise, for all those that you've come to the shop to visit us up here in Invergordon. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And meeting all of you as well has been really kind of humbling. It's a, it's a good experience, you know, especially myself, obviously Tom and uh, Luke as well. So thank you guys. Tom, you'll be up in the sky. Safe journey. We'll see you when you're home. As always, guys, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Thank you. Thank you.